serious. I apologise for our temporary absence from the airways, which is due to a number of house calls in our area by those charming Death Eaters. But now we're back. So let's move to news concerning the wizard who is proving just as elusive as Harry Potter. We'd like to refer to him as Chief Death Eater. And here to give us his views on some of the more insane rumours circulating about him, I'd like to introduce our new correspondent, Rodent. I'm not being Rodent. I told you. I want to be Rapier. I will write Rapier. Could you tell our listeners the various stories you've heard about the Chief Death Eater? Yes, I can. As our listeners will know, unless they've taken refuge at the bottom of the garden pond, you know whose strategy of remaining in the shadows is creating a nice climate of panic. Mind you, if all alleged sightings of him are genuine, there must be 19 you-know-whos running around. Who <laughs> shoots him, of course. The air of mystery creates more terror than actually showing himself. Agreed. So, people, let's try and calm it down a bit. Things are bad enough without inventing stuff. For instance, this new idea that you-know-who can kill you with a single glance from his eyes. That's a basilisk, listeners. One simple test. Check whether the thing that's glaring at you has legs. If it has, it's safe to look. Although, if it really is you-know-who, that's still likely to be the last thing you ever do. Well, thank you for that update, Rodent. Rapier. And don't forget to tune in again, listeners, for more stories, tales, updates and advice. In the meantime, stay safe and support Harry Potter. Moody. Yes, yes, that's true. Now, picking up the latest stories about you-know-who. We've heard rumours that he keeps being sighted abroad. Well, who wouldn't want a nice little holiday after all the hard work he's been putting in? True. But the point is people don't get lulled into a false sense of security, thinking he's out of the country. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But the fact remains he can move faster than Severus Snape confronted with shampoo. I never thought I'd hear myself say it, but safety first. And what of the rumours about Harry Potter? Do you believe he's still in the country? Do you think he's still alive? I do. If he had been killed or had run away, the Death Eaters would want us to know. They tell everyone. And what would you say to Harry if you knew he was listening? I'd tell him to keep it up, whatever he's doing. We know he'll help finish You Know Who. Thank you very much for those wise words. Listeners, that brings us to the end of another Potter Watch. We don't know when it'll be possible to broadcast again, but you can be sure we shall be back. Keep each other safe. Keep faith. And do what you can to stop You Know Who. And now over to Rapier for our popular feature, Pals of Potter. Our usual update on the friends of Harry Potter. We have heard within the last few hours that Rubius Hagrid, well-known gamekeeper at Hogwarts School, has narrowly escaped to rest within the grounds of Hogwarts, where he is rumoured to have hosted a support Harry Potter party in his house. However, Hagrid was not taken into custody and is, we believe, on the run. I suppose having a 16-foot-high half-brother helps when you're escaping Death Eaters. It would give you an edge. But while we here at Potterwitch applaud Hagrid's spirit, we would urge against following Hagrid's lead. Support Harry Potter parties are unwise in the present climate. Especially with all we've heard about the Ministry running these Snatcher squads. Yes, for all those who haven't heard, the Ministry has licensed so-called Snatchers to hunt down and bring in anyone who is deemed to be undesirable. Well, that wouldn't be us then, would it? I mean, we've both had loads of girlfriends. It must be those cute little cheeks and whiskers, Rodent. That's right, Tentacular. Tentacular! So, to all those who find themselves being unjustly labelled undesirable, we here at Potwatch salute you. And to all those people who really are undesirable... <coughs> the Lorius Umbridge. <coughs> <coughs> Malfoy. Your time will come. Forks. In our latest news for those out of touch and on the run, I bring some bad news for anyone interested in keeping things happy at Hogwarts or anyone who likes to keep their hair clean. Severus Snape has been appointed headmaster of Hogwarts. We advise all students there to plan their responses carefully as we've heard that Slytherus Snape has employed a number of Death Eaters to take care of discipline at the school. Grim times indeed. And it's not just Hogwarts that's suffering. The new Wizarding Order is also affecting the Muggle world badly. While muggles remain ignorant of the source of their suffering, they continue to sustain heavy casualties. However, we do hear some truly inspirational stories of wizards and witches risking their own safety to protect muggle friends and neighbours, often without the muggles' knowledge. 
I'd like to appeal to all our listeners to emulate their example, perhaps by casting a protective charm over any muggles dwelling in your street. Many lives could be saved if such simple measures are taken. And what would you say to those listeners who reply that in these dangerous times it should be Wizards First? I'd say that is one short step from Wizards First to Pure Bloods First and then to Death Eaters. We're all human, aren't we? Every human life is worth the same and is worth saving. Excellently put. So, for all those who want Hogwarts free of Death Eaters and those who think Muggles should be protected, keep each other safe, keep faith and help Harry Potter. Yes! And we suggest that you continue to show your devotion to the man with the lightning scar by listening to Potter Watch. Phoenix. Greetings to all of our listeners. We start today's broadcast with some sad news. We regret to inform you that the remains of Bathilda Bagshot have been discovered in Godric's Hollow. The evidence is that despite sightings of her out walking in Godric's Hollow, Bathilda died several months ago. The Order of the Phoenix informs us that her body showed unmistakable signs of injury inflicted by dark magic. There was also evidence of a recent battle in her home and the building next door. And has the Wizarding Wireless Network News reported any of this? No. The Wizarding Wireless No News Network? Sadly, these aren't the only deaths that the News Network and Daily Prophet didn't think important enough to mention. It is with great regret that we inform our listeners of the murder of Ted Tonks and Dirk Creswell. A goblin by the name of Gornock was also killed. It is believed that Muggleborn, Dean Thomas, and a second goblin, both believed to have been travelling with Tonks, Creswell and Gornock, may have escaped. If Dean is listening, your parents and sisters are pretty desperate for news. We have to go off the air now, but as we do, we ask you to take a moment's silence in memory of those who have fallen. Pruitt. Potter Potterwatch! Thank you, rodents. I told you, it's rapier. I'd have thought you'd have got that point by now. Point. Rapier. Sword. Get it? You certainly are a sharp one, rapier. And we'd like all our listeners to keep a sharp lookout for anyone behaving strangely or people coming into your area that you don't recognise. Many regular Potterwatch listeners will know that the Ministry has hushed up a mass breakout from Azkaban. Escapees include the infamous Death Eater Travers and Stan Shunpike, who you may have met on the night bus. Please be careful with Stan. We're sure he's under the influence of the Imperius Curse. He is helping the Death Eaters, but we believe this is against his will. Even so, add him to your list of known Death Eaters and Death Eater sympathizers. The Malfoys, Bellatrix Lestrange, the Werewolf, Fenrir Greyback, Raoul and Dolohov, the Caros, Severus Snape, and all the others. Know your friends, but be on the lookout for any signs of the Imperius Curse or Polyjuice Potion. And with that, good luck, stay safe, and support Harry Potter. Longbottom. Be aware that the Ministry, which means you know who, are using Dementors to do their dirty work. So far, Dementors have been spotted bringing misery to the Ministry, gloom to Godric's Hollow, and even horror to Hogsmeade. As you'll know, the only true defence against a Dementor is a Patronus, so we're recommending that you keep practising casting Expecto Patronum, so you're ready if the time comes. Are you giving our listeners homework? Better that than a Dementor's kiss. So, that's it for this special edition of Potter Watch. Look after yourself, keep a lookout for snatches. Madam. Welcome to another Potter Watch. Today we present Tips for Survival. Tomorrow, for all those who left Hogwarts some time ago and may have forgotten, or just in case you fell asleep when Snape was going on and on and on, one of our regulars will give you a reminder of how to make Polyjuice Potion. Not an immediate help, as it takes a long time to be ready, but it's useful stuff to have around if you need to change your appearance. In the meantime, a word to the wise. All those choosing to head to the countryside for safety should be aware that we have had reports of some dangerous concentrations of magical creatures in remote places. One forest we've heard was said to contain a migrant Hungarian horntail. That's a dragon. Numerous acromantulas, doxies, pixies and other creatures. All those on the run are asked to be careful where they decide to set up camp. No point escaping, only to find your bed on fire. Or yourself stuck in a web. But if you do end up anywhere remote, keep an eye out for useful potion ingredients. But beware of patrols of snatchers. You aren't paranoid, they are looking for you. Stay safe, keep your eyes peeled, and support Harry Potter! Wolfram. 
We now turn to Rita Skeeter's new biography of Albus Dumbledore. Have you got a copy, Rapier? Of course. And I highly recommend it to all our listeners who need something to blow their nose on. About the only use for it, by all accounts. Seriously, people, do you really think Dumbledore would have done the things Skeeter is saying he did? No. So, later in the programme, we'll give you some practical uses for Rita's book. Such as wrapping things up, cleaning windows, propping doors, or helping start fires. But in the meantime, here's Rapio with some more survival tips. Look out for Felix Felicis. Look out. Like it. This fortunate little golden potion can turn any bad day good. Good luck out there and remember, as long as you have a wireless, you're not alone. Meadows. We've heard rumours today that a number of muggle-born wizards have been freed from snatchers while awaiting transport. While precise details remain unclear, we have heard that a number of snatchers were stunned in the instant and that someone matched the description of Harry Potter was seen at the scene. We have one thing to say. If it was you, Harry, and you can hear this, keep it up! Vance. Yes. And as that will only make things even more dangerous, here is Rapier with some more survival tips. Once more, it's time for us to pass on tips given to us by those out there and on the run. Today's tips, tip one, see the light. Carry some Peruvian instant darkness powder with you. Instant darkness, anytime, anywhere. Simply throw it where you want it to be dark and plunge opponents into an instant nighttime, giving you the chance to get away. Today's tip two, peculiar itching, painful bites, Spiders and doxies are poisonous, so if you think you're going to meet some, then get your hands on a bottle of antidote to common poisons. Tip three, get a bottle of fire protection potion and even dragon's breath needn't trouble you. Dear boy. Hello to all those on the run, in hiding, or staying and standing up to you know who. This is your update on what's what. Further news for those trying to get hold of a decent wand. Following the mysterious disappearance of Ollivander from Diagon Alley, news from abroad is that the famous wand maker Gregorovich has also vanished. More names to add to the list of those disappearing. A list of ministry seems to be doing nothing about. That's not completely true. They are denying people are disappearing. <laughs> That's doing something. So, to help you disappear from view before the authorities make you disappear, here are some more top tips. A quick reminder for all of those who are too terrified to pay attention in care of magical creatures. Large, stupid, more muscles than brains? That's a troll. Very strong, but very slow. If it looks dead, it smells dead, but it's still moving. That's an inferi. Run away! Shifty look, terrible clothes, bad attitude. That's a snatcher. Careful of them calling for reinforcements. News today that evidence of muggle-borns and undesirables is being collected at the ministry and taken to a secure room. These items incriminate innocent muggle-borns of nothing more than their parentage. If this evidence was to disappear, then these muggle-borns would be free. Wouldn't that be a bad thing? Oh yeah, terrible. Good luck out there. Remember, we're here for you.